So good morning. We're going on a car buy today to go pick up a couple. I guess I'll leave it as a surprise. And I'm sitting out front of Love Field Airport in Dallas waiting on my father. He looks like he's going to be rolling in about 30 minutes before we take off. So thumbs up that he uh, gets here on time. Good morning, Princess. We take off in about 30 minutes. <laughs> Good morning. Yeah. Early flight to Missouri, so we're heading out after uh, two classic Porsches, a 66 912 and a 69 912. We've been chasing these cars for over two years, and I'm hoping that the 66 might turn out to be an early 65, so roll with us and watch our day. Dodge Ram truck with a Hemi in it, of course. We're about 45 miles out. Been working this lead for over two years. Very confident we're gonna get a bot. We're gonna go have a team meeting. Alex drove up yesterday, it's about 600 miles in the truck and trailer. We brought the two car enclosed. There's a lot of Porsche parts here that I also wanna buy. So we're gonna go meet him, have a team meeting, go over there and see what we got. We have made it to grab Alex from the Holiday Inn. <laughs> Nothing just chilling at the Holiday <laughs> Inn. Oh my God. And there's our two car trailer. It's been across the country many, many times. Ooh. Lots of rare cars inside that trailer. And there's the man himself. It's Alex. <laughs> you got bed bugs in there? Did you play in the arcade? No, I didn't. <laughs> right there. Jerry? Hey. Hey, how are you? How's Dennis Collins. Jerry Dyckman, nice to meet you. This is Alex Bowling. Alex, nice, to meet you. nice to meet you. So, we've been talking about these cars for over two years, right? Yes. Okay. Sure have. So they exist? They exist. So they're <laughs> right in that garage right up there. All right, let's check them out and see how hard it is going to be to get them out and see if we make a deal. That'll work. So how many uh, 911 and 912 pre-74 Porsches are in this area? Hard saying, man. There's a there's a pretty good uh, Porsche following in St. Louis. So you might be able to find me some more later on. Possibly, hopefully. Okay. <laughs> you don't have a clapper on it? I don't. <laughs> Cut that in. The garage open. <laughs> Kelsey dogs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a barn find. Garage find. Uh, look at that. They've been in there for a while. They yeah. have. I like to see them right. 50 cutter wheels. On the same side. Some fuse wheels there. Got a motor. The, these body parts here, obviously, are from another car. Yeah. But all this stuff we've been talking about all goes in a package, right? It does. Okay. There's one. Well, it is a 66. I was kind of hoping it was one of the early cars or one of the interim cars, which has been a 65, but it's not. Still cool, though. Three gauge. Steering wheel's off. We're pretty good about steering them without a uh, steering wheel. We figured that out. And also, it's got a Flintstone floor. Check this out, Kels. So, you know how you stop this car? With your With feet. Your feet? <laughs> <laughs> So, well, you said they're projects. They definitely are. This is pretty neat. This 69 right here, which is a long wheelbase car. At, you know, 68 was the last year, the short wheelbase. It's got headrests. It's kind of cool, especially for a 912. Five gauge car. It's rusty too. But 
Jerry, I've been working with him over two years on email. I haven't met him. He sent me all the pictures as far as floor numbers, ID tag numbers, and all that stuff, so I know it's real. Um, so I don't have to open up all this stuff to look at it. Obviously, eventually we will, but I've seen the numbers. Wow, this is going to be fun. Spoke black with red interior? Yeah, it's a good color combo, isn't it? Yeah. This car's been parked since 1976, and it's a 66. So it's only on the road for 10 years. And what happens when you're up in these areas with salt, it just kills them. If this car was in Texas, been parked since 76, it'd be incredible. And also, earlier on, cars this rough would have been parted out, but these cars are going to get built. See the, uh, see, that's one of the reasons I was kind of hoping it was a 65, because where the tag is. Having the tag up there instead of here, mm -hmm. a lot of times it's a telltale sign that it's a 65, 912 bill, or even a 64, 65, 911. So it's neat that it's there. Uh, there's also a 911 motor right there. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Yes. You can tell what it is by. Power on it, so it's a 619 series motor. So, yeah, this is a 911 motor. And if you look over here, Alex, see the timing? Yeah. It's hydraulic. And some of them are just mechanical only. Which you've seen some of those adjusters recently, right? Right. So, we can use this for some future project. We always love getting wheels and body parts. All right, next question. You got anybody that will help us do this? Absolutely. I mean, we could do it, but this will take us forever. I've got a small crew of us. Okay, very good. Um, I'm not going to argue about the price. I'm just paying what we were discussing. Awesome. So I'll get you paid. That'll work. So do you think we can get the trailer up here? Absolutely. Okay, so you've had trailers back in that oh, big yeah. up here. Oh, yeah. All right, Alex, you start getting the trailer here, get the gate down and get it set up. We'll do some paperwork. I'll get him paid, and then he says he's got some guys that will help. And normally, it would probably take us two to three hours to do this, so I don't know. Let's see if we can get done in an hour. We got some helpers out here. Six people put my bag up and I'll come help too. I won't just supervise. As far as the park. Yeah. We got Al Jack in here. Yep, he's getting his forklift. Oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> he's got a forklift. Yeah. Yep. I love it. I can hold a wheel, one of those wheels. I bet you can roll those in there. I bet you can. That'll, that'll be your job. That's why we have a forklift everywhere in the house. That's why we have a forklift everywhere in the house. That's why we have a forklift everywhere in the house. Working uh, sparks and hard. I didn't have my gloves on. I might even be dirty. Look at that. You're a driver, you have a hard time seeing that. It's a really high option 912. It's also got an AM FM radio to factory. Oh, we're actually uh, looking the way this cable running underneath this car so we can pull the other one. Hey. What does a Yeti smell like, bad? Yeah. Alex, you want to see if you can roll the driver's window down? 
down so you can steer. On this? Is, is it down? That's down. Oh, it doesn't have a steering wheel, does it? Yeah. <laughs> Keep going. That's heavy. Two in. Pretty cool. That's awesome. Well, that car's been sitting since 1976. The 66 we just pulled in. Now we're going to do this load. Two 912 motors, 911 motors, a bunch of wheels and tires, a whole short wheel base front clip. Uh, we need to make sure we wrap that glass. All right. All right. Shouldn't take too long. We have a lot of helpers. <laughs> Same amount of poor stuff here. This is all really neat stuff. The guys who are storing these are going to freak out over some of these parts vent windows in here for the doors that are out there, seal plates, aluminum trim, door latches, and then a lot of this stuff is NOS parts. Really cool. Here's the floor plans for the car that needed floors. This is really old stuff. The date code on these boxes in this is early 60s. Some of these date codes are in the 70s. It looks like an NOS muffler. Uh, I believe that Lightstreet, which is German, was the manufacturer for it. It's got a Porsche part number on it. It says it fits 356B all the way to early 912. Um, that's incredible. The date code on this muffler though is 8 of 61. So it's a 356 muffler, but you could use the 356 muffler on the 912s. So, wow, really cool find. Sure. That box of pistons and things like that, and fill in these big spots. Well, because the wheels we can put just about anywhere, and then the whole front area up there, let's put the sheet metal up there. Yeah. So let's grab that blanket down and wrap that 912 windshield, stick it in the car so we don't forget. This is going to be a full pull. My incredible wife made me bring a hanky. Shout out to Bob. Thanks, honey. Now all you guys got to do is sweep it and clean it out. Yeah. You got a big place to have fun. Okay, so the trailer is literally full. We didn't just make it look like it's full. It's full all the way into the nose. Some really incredible 912 and 911 parts. Two complete 912s, 911 motor. We can't wait to dig through all this stuff. I want to thank you guys a ton for helping. Thank you for your help. You pay me, Clayton. I am going to pay you. Did you hear that? Okay. Let me know if this is enough or not. Does that work? Wow, you're about to get in so much trouble. Yeah. Thank you, sir, for your time. Thank you, sir. All right. For you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are a huge help. Thank you. Huge help. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Jerry, your kids are great. Thanks, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. They're going to a good home, and I'm glad we worked it out. Awesome. So a little over two years, Jerry and I had talked together on the phone and through email. We got the deal closed. These kids are a huge help. Thank you guys. Now Alex, all he has to do is strap all this stuff down. Yep. Get back to Wiley, Texas. Yep. But from here, we're going to go to a local barbecue place that Jerry recommends. And what's it called? Smoke something? Super Smoker. Super Smoker. We're going to go Super Smoker. And then if we have time, we're going to go to Moto Exotica and visit my good friend, Scotty Brandt. So stay tuned. All right, sir, what do we have here on this beautiful table? You've got a smorgasbord. We do. So starting with the sides, we have our house-made broccoli salad. Here in St. Louis, we call it the St. Louis salad. Uh, broccoli, smoked bacon, onions, dried cranberries, and mayonnaise. We have potato salad, mayonnaise, and mustard mix. We have our house-made cream corn. It'll literally change your life. People ask me all the time, how did you come from the north with cream corn like that? <laughs> house-made jalapeno cream, uh, cornbread. And then the good stuff. Our good friend Jerry said you had to have some of our bacon-wrapped 
she, uh, cream cheese and brisket stuffed jalapenos. Oh, let me try it right now. Oh, I, can't, I can't wait. They're really, really good. We got our pulled pork. We got our pulled chicken. We have our sliced brisket. And then on the next tray, because that wasn't enough for you yet, <laughs> we've got our burnt ends, our turkey, and then we have our Polish sausage, and then our hot link sausage. Wow. And then of course we have a smorgasbord of sauces up here, should you decide. The only thing we serve what in the restaurant are our burnt ends and our pork steaks. So awesome. Well thank you. Guys. Thanks for coming in. So there you have it. You got super smokers in Eureka. Thanks, Jerry, for the recommendation. Thank oh. you, sir, for having us. You're welcome. Yeah. Thanks for coming in.